Oh yeah. I think the last Idols person that I know who won uh, mm-hmm. was when I started watching Idols, actually. Idols is like big brother to me now. I watched Idols when it was still white. Yes, when Heinz Winkler won it. Yeah. Yes. Are you guys? Yeah. <laughs> Before it was wretched. <laughs> Before it crossed the M1 from Sentin to Alex. <laughs> Podcast and show. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Hey. Yes, we are back. back. M A C G is back. Wow. L E N is back. You missed out an N. L E N N is back. G H O S T L A D Y is back. Ah, you educated. We know you used to be spelling bees back in high school or primary. Show me up. No, him. He did. Who? No, no, not me, him. I'm saying, yeah, I'm yes. surprised. He did. I know. I'm I'm born. Mm. I never took part in spelling bees. You never took part in them? No, my school was not that, was not that good. Oh, shame. Oh. Did you guys see Casper uh, and uh, uh, um, what's the other guy? Frank Casino. They did a remake of uh, TKZ. Oh. Yeah, a remake, t- how do you mean? Like, uh, they sampled Which song? It. Which song, though? Um, ooh. What's that song? Let me find it. It's like a TKZ song. Uh, boom, boom, boom. The bass line's crazy. Oh. Mamboji. Yes. Oh. Yes, Mamboji. Yes, yes. It's actually pretty cool. Have you guys seen it? No, I have not it? heard it. Yeah, I know. It's dope. It's dope, man. I'm what? Is it a Mambochi video from, even? Yeah, they've got a video. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm wow. guessing Mamboji from the... Maybe that's the song I've the heard. The bit of the bass that you try to... Because it was yeah. a very deep bass mm. type song. That TKZ had, and, and as soon as you hear that, with that, bass, whist, you know. that, that whistling, yes, ah, yes, ah. yes. Let me see. I if remember I can that bass. Guys. It's the one. The video had DJ Fresh in it. Yes, is it? Yes. Yo. And Baba Lo Neno. Really, Baba Lo. Yes. Is the wife? <laughs> no, isn't she pa- Baba Licious? Huh? I can't. Because I, I, I know it's DJ Fresh in a. Wait, no, no, no. DJ Fresh was in the. Oh no, the music video was a combined video. Oh. So it was a. Uh, was it Mam not a Boji boxing? With like a boxing. Um, the music is playing, and that's, that's what we really say. Mm. We really love this place. And then at some point, it shifts to Mamboji that. Yes. Oh, yeah. That one. I like you got your Wi Fi slow, man. I'm trying to get the song. How many mix you on here? I'm on 10. Caspano Vest and Frank Casino. Yeah, who got the block hot? Mm. Let me play a snippet of it so you guys can hear it. Do you think that other guy was involved in shooting the ball, well, in arranging props for the video again? Oh, Tafuma? Yes. Ah, I wonder. The video is dope, though. Yo, so dope. No, Frank has like some pretty dope videos. Are there cars in that video? Mm, no, no, no. They're in the club. So there's girls in the yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And our best friend, Capo. <laughs> oh, he made it. <laughs> he, he will well, always make he it. would. He would. Yeah. Why not? Uh, have you seen the couple interview? As in, as himself. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Have you seen the interview? Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, he's funny, it. eh? Very. Yo, dude, I was yeah. in stitches, man. <laughs> have you seen it? No. Is it? I haven't had time to actually watch a lot of YouTube. Mm. Of late. Okay, while it's loading anyway. And uh, very many welcome to ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Podcast and G. <laughs> Fucking hell, guys, do I have a story to tell you? What a weekend I had. Oh, my oh. word. So much drama. <laughs> tell uh, us. But before I get into it, how was your weekend, Ghost Lady? Same thing I always do, try and take over the world. When you like it. Sure, Pinky. <laughs> um, Friday, I went to Friday Night Live with uh, uh, Neo De Janeiro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shout out to Neo De Janeiro, man. Um, that thing looks dope. Like, what? Yeah. Is, it, is it live? Do they mix yes, live? they mix live. And it's live on Instagram? Yes. Oh, is there an audience? Uh, I, well, I was not on Instagram. Yeah. I was just on there, live line. Yeah. Oh. So you were the audience. <laughs> well, there are people who are there. Yeah. Uh, I was there with a couple of people, actually. Here we go. Here we go. Kalas mm. Mamele, yes. Hey. I love that line. Nice. 
There's a line that he just said <laughs> now. <laughs> Fucking hell. Are, are. Are, uh, udula we cha feeling karang wana hands ball. Oh. Do you understand what he means? What does he mean? Do you understand what he means? No, for the sake. <laughs> Mwana hands ball. Who's Mwana so, hands ball? Who chafa something is to hide it, right? Okay. So Mwana hands ball is like when I'm dating a girl and then she on Torisa hands ball. She falls pregnant without or tricking me into falling pregnant. Mm, okay, okay. So yeah, when that happens, yeah, I was like, but Torisa still in a hands ball type of thing. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay. So Udula we chafila, you always hidden like Mwana hands ball. Yeah, but it's got a lot of those punchlines in the song if you listen yeah. to it. Yeah, no, yeah. check it out. I'll yeah. check it out. Uh, I was in Porch. I was in the hometown this That's, weekend. That beach is mm. beautiful. Mm-hmm. What uh, happened in Porch? <laughs> what didn't happen in Porch? <laughs> Did you get a passport? Because the mayor, both mayors of Porch were not in Porch this weekend. Is it? Mm. Hey, but Porch is a vibe, dog. Yes, is it? it? Yo, it's oh. December day already. Hey, I had so much fun. Because okay. I was playing at uh, Sports Lounge, you know? Sweet, yeah. So me and my friends, um, my friends decided to come with me. Okay. So I played at Sports Lounge. Big shout out to Cat Master. I was playing with Cat Master. Nice. And then uh, after that, we went, decided to go to Black Lounge. The one in the hood. Yeah. yeah. It was fucking packed. It was a jump. Hey. That's where uh, Zoto was fondled, actually. Is it? Yeah. <gasps> oh, so we left, we left Sports Lounge at about two. Uh. And then we dipped that side. I should have seen the, the, the warning signs because as soon as we were about to get in, niggas were fighting already. Uh. You know? But anyway, we get in. Uh, we have fun. And then, okay, cool. It's time to go now. Uh, so I don't know what's been happening, right? What time hotel, is it now? It's, like, it's like four or five. Okay. And we are lit because uh, my one friend, who I've known for like 20 years, he started drinking in the morning at about 10. So when you got to Podge, he was already lit. Or what? And when we were playing at Sports Lounge, they gave us a bottle of Henny, you know? Mm-hmm. And we clapped it. And he was drinking it straight. We're like, hey, when are you trying to kill yourself? You know what I mean? So anyway, we're like, ah, he's a grown nice man, you know? Uh, and then uh, it's time to leave now. So they paid you with a Henny? No, no, no. Oh. Why? <laughs> what do you take me for? Asaz, Asaz. For the sake of the podcast, <laughs> they paid him. It's okay. They paid him, guy, Henny. <laughs> what do you take me for? So now, when we get to Black Lounge, uh, he wants to go back to Joburg. At four? At four in the morning. He wants to drive back. We're like, dude, no ways. We booked a place. You're going to come sleep with us. Mm. You know, it'd be irresponsible for us as friends to let you drive in the state. You are yeah. not going anywhere. And his girlfriend was also having fun with us. So... Like, out of, there were six of us. Mm-hmm. The five of us were all having fun. Except him. Except him. He wanted to go home. Oh, okay. And he was doing drama, causing drama, being theatric. And no one gave a fuck. Because mm-hmm. we were just having fun. So now it's time to go home. And he was having an altercation. With niggas in porch. With his girlfriend. Oh. oh. Okay. So now, I'm trying to... Keep the peace. Keep the peace. Ish. You know, I'm trying to be steady. Like my name. <laughs> And it blew in your face. You <laughs> like your name, dude. Did this guy start? Did we not start fighting, bro? Fist fight. Fist fight. It got physical. Are you serious? I kid you not. For like twenty minutes, we're okay. rolling all over the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, John he, was, he was fucking strangling me. <laughs> hey, the cops even came and they're like, MacGyver. <laughs> So this time, I think, because he fell, there was a time where he pushed me and I pushed him back and yeah. he felt like there was a barricade or something or like okay. a hole. Yeah. So he fell and he hurt his leg. So he was on the floor. So when yeah. the ca- cops came, he was on the floor and I'm busy saying, look at this fucking guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking... Dude, I've known this guy for 20 years. Ne? We fought a lot, you know? Yeah. But it's never been physical. All right. But like, cops know you. Yeah, I guess so. Like, it was so weird. <laughs> it was so weird. I've never... It's like... Len fighting with me. Yeah. And I'd be like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? I'd kick your ass, nigga. You get what I'm saying? So it looks like you won the fight. No, there wasn't. No one was keeping score. <laughs> <laughs> For the sake of the For podcast. For the, the sake of the podcast. But you can see, I don't have any scratches. That's My leg is not maybe. broken. <laughs> Asazi, you're wearing jeans. Yeah. <laughs> We'll take a word for it. <laughs> so, 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 hey, dude, like, yo, he, he became something I've never, I've never seen jigger like that in all my life. Okay, so do you want to call him now and apologize? Or no, 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 funny thing apologize? is, funny thing is, like, when it happened, eh? Yeah. Like, you know, the girls were screaming. Yeah. For you. And then his chick was M-A-C-G, mad. M-A-C-G, <laughs> M-A-C-G. <laughs> Oh, and his chick was mad. Like, everybody was mad. Like, Jigger, we were having fun. Yeah. Now you're going to wild out. Like, he wild out. And he's big. He's like Mike Tyson big. Wow. Like, he's chubby, but he's like muscle chubby. Oh. 
Does that, that make sense? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, 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 so. <laughs> and then we happened? get it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So then we find it. <laughs> king, did I miss a joke? <laughs> it's okay it's for okay. the sake. Yeah, yeah, let's continue. Um, <laughs> and the funny thing is, within an hour, we're laughing about it. Oh, like we're kidding, we're just laughing about it. I'm like, yeah, dude, what the fuck were you thinking? He's like, my man, I was drunk. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. So you yeah. guys were just manhandling each other for nothing, dude. Oh wow. But it was weird. I've never seen Jigger like that. You guys, man. Oh, wow. yeah. But the peace was maintained. Yeah. Okay. You know, he turned into Hulk. You know, when Hulk. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, hey, Jigger, who is this you? So and you, you and what? What did you turn into? MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> so you left Joburg with Bruce Banner, and then you got to Porch, and mm. the Hulk came out. Mm. Yes. Ah, uh, the, the the girlfriend wasn't impressed. Like we were all over it now, but she yeah. took. She was like, "Yo, she took it the worst." But is she angry at you? No, 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 no. I was trying to protect her. Yeah. No one. Okay. I was I just trying to keep. The I peace. don't think I've been into a physical altercation with a friend. But it brings me fight. to my next question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you think, as friends, we need to fight? You don't yeah. need to fight. You can talk. No, no, but I'm no, saying no. like most friends have had altercations, like yes. physical altercations, yes. whether it was during intoxication. Or like someone's emotions were... But you see, do you need to fight? No, you don't. And I'll tell you why. Had that barricade or what, what, anything could have happened in the midst of that, Mm. then you don't want to have a moment of ish. Because something extreme has happened. Yeah, but in the heat of the moment, you can't be thinking like that. Yeah. Because now I didn't go there to fight him. Yeah. All of a sudden, he's turning into Hulk, and I gotta defend myself. But yeah. you were also intoxicated, I get. No, 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 not even actually, because I was drinking um, non-alcoholic, non-alcoholic on the way oh. there. So I only started drinking at sports lounge. But then I was the soberest out of everyone. That's why I was trying to keep the peace. Yeah. So in trying to keep the peace and in him trying to fight you, yes, you're gonna get aggravated, and I think to a degree it goes to. Emotional. And how bad was it? I think that's another thing. It how, was bad. When, when, when you saw them fighting or however, or how bad was it? Or maybe did it look bad from your perspective whereas they were just having their normal kind of... No, no, it was bad. That's why, that's why I didn't eject. It was okay. bad. Okay. Yes. But anything can happen. Yeah. See, in the, midst of, in, in the heat of the Which moment... Which is good because obviously anything can happen and it's good that you anything can Anything yeah. can happen in Definitely. the heat of the moment. So I'm saying, do you need to fight as friends? No, you don't. Because anything can think, happen. I think as friends, especially guys, we all have that one incident where you guys have locked heads with one another. But I just said so it's now, coming I with you between you and Lane. It's coming. It's coming. Plus, it'll be my first guys, fight. Let's watch. <laughs> it'll be my first fight. Yes. Because me and Lane fight a lot. We fight a lot, but it's never been physical. It's never been physical. Never at yeah, all. Yeah. But we fight when we're sober. When we're drunk, other people actually hate us. Because we're laughing all the time. Is yeah, it? yeah, we annoy them. Oh. So, <laughs> the irony is when you're sober and you get in, because when you're drunk, like you said, it's a heat of the moment, like, type mm. of thing, you know? But when you're drunk, there's, there's a level of thought process that's not necessarily there. I could, have a, I could have a gat in my car. And because the heat of the moment is there, I do something and only after it happens, I'm like, shit, what have I just done? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. what he was saying. He was like, "Yo, shit! I didn't realize what had happened until the cops came and I was on yes. the floor." <laughs> I'm like, "Fuck! What's going on?" <laughs> mm. ah, but do you guys normally have like that kind of fighting when you guys are sober? Yeah, is that common between you and that friend? Yeah, like what I'm saying is, we always argue, always fight, but it's okay. never been physical. Mm. It was the first time I've known this guy for 20 years, and this is I when met him sober. in high school. Mm-hmm. You know. And we've always had altercations like all friends do. Yeah. You know? But it's never been physical. Mm. Like, this nigga was strangling me, dog. <laughs> like, what the <laughs> fuck, Jigga? <laughs> he tried to kill you. <laughs> Imagine if you were, like, again, I go back to, 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 to being the, 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 what, yeah, whatever. Like, let's say you were asthmatic. Yeah. Like, it's the heat of the moment. He's struggling you. And then yeah. you struggle for breath. And it could have been something as simple as that. Yeah. So, I don't advocate for... But I guess because of your guys' friendship, you know each other's like conditions. So you knew that, okay, you don't have I asthma. I could have developed asthma in two weeks. Yeah. These things happen. True. You know? But we thank God, no. <laughs> I, I, 
I personally, I don't advocate. I don't like. I hate confrontations. Yeah, I'm actually that type of person. I well. avoid I hate when it when it becomes when things become physical, right? I will try by all means not to get physical back mm. because I don't want to say I don't know how to fight. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I don't know how to fight. So if I got into a fight, I wouldn't know what to do per se. Mm. I would I could end up doing something that's detrimental to the next person that I'm fighting with. That's and I'm not it. pointing at him because I'm saying you next. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag I am next. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just saying oh, like wow. I could say be like next oh. thing Mshaya he and this is like a crucial part mm. and then he goes and whatever. He's out. So if I could I like it's it's okay. Like I'll I walk away. I don't know. Maybe there's something about alcohol in Porsche, but that guy became. I think even if like uh, it was a prank and we said, "Jigga, there's cameras," he wasn't gonna. <laughs> <listen>. <laughs> it's, a it's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah, it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> you wouldn't get it. It's a camera. For take, for take. Leon Schuster mustn't go to him when he's drunk. Dog, yeah. he was on beast mode. But anyway, he's cool now. We cool. Oh. Uh, do you guys believe in star signs, zodiac signs? All I know is I'm a Leo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But do you believe in them? Not really. You but like what I've read about my star sign, surprisingly, it's kind of like true. You okay. know, that's one thing that just... Maybe it's know. a mind fuck. Uh, yeah. All right, let's read your star sign. You're a cancer. And it goes late. I'm a cancer. Okay. It says here that... Give Ooh, me a second. That? I'm waiting for this. Uh, it's Ariana Grande. Is there a picture of me? It's, it's Ariana Grande because she's a cancerian as oh. well. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Typical Cancerian personality traits. Mm-hmm. Intuitive. Nosy as fuck. Nosy? Yeah. Is that nah. true? Hmm? But you have a nose. I have a nose. But uh, have Cancerians <laughs> have an almost supernatural <laughs> sense of intuition. They know what you're thinking and they know what you did. Don't try and lie to them. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, loyal. Clingy. Yeah. <laughs> loyal. Mm. Are you clingy? But I'll say clingy, but we've got that. Critical, but stable. Yeah, critical, but stable, okay. you know. No, I think we're lovers. We just, we just, if I'm, I'm with you, I'm with you, you know. No that star commitment. sign is more loyal than a cancer. They yes. would die for love. Yes. And kill for hate. Yes. Mm. <laughs> I'm, try, I'm not trying to fight you. <laughs> is Jigga a cancer? <laughs> Imagine if he was. <laughs> you would have died. <laughs> <laughs> Enigmatic, moody bitch. The moon controls their moods quite literally, and this means they can switch rapidly. No. So you're not moody at all. Not what does moody. enigmatic mean? Moody. Oh. Moody. Yeah. No. At all. I feel like we're more. It's like we've got this control of our emotions. Yeah. I've, uh, I, I, I feel like all women are moody though. Yeah, women are moody. Yeah, we've got oh, our fuck. moods. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let me just speak for myself here. Mm. Okay. I think. I've got a control of my emotions and that's why I don't like to get angry. Mm. I've I don't, never I don't seen you get, angry, actually. A lot of people say Are that. you beast mode as well? You've got another side. <laughs> <laughs> you get even. <laughs> no. No. That's okay. why I just, I just never want to get angry. Uh, like, are you vengeful? Yes. Yeah, it says yeah, most I Cancerians... You don't get angry, you get even. Speak on the mic, Maruna. We are like on the episode. Mic, I'm saying... But like... Hold it here. I, yes, uh, like that. So you're audible. I, you are. Yes. What did I say? When you move your head, you must move it with your mic. <laughs> Let me this teach you. Hundred episodes <laughs> in, you gotta teach this nigga how to use the mic. Uh, most concerns are terrific. When you move your head, what happens? When I what? Huh? Did you say when I remove my head? No, when you move your. You, no, she was saying when you move your head, your you head. must move with the mic. Move with the mic. Let yeah. me teach you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, you guys are hoarders. You're very sentimental and can't bear to let anything go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hoarders. Yeah, I've got that. Oh, so, so far, they I spot like on. things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, last one is manipulative. So that's, that's where the clingy part is. Yeah. Are you mani- manipulative? To a certain extent. Mm. Like, I know how to get, wha- get what I want. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when the mood is on the up, Cancerians can be wonderful company, mm-hmm. uh, magical partners, funny, passionate, insightful, adventurous, and indulgent. Yep, that's mm. so true. Yeah. We are the best partners. Like, if you want to be with a good person, get a Cancer. But everybody would 
most likely say that about their star sign. Uh, let's yeah, get but to your no, star one, sign. no one wants to date their own star sign. I wouldn't uh, want to date another Cancerian, you know. Lenier Leon, eh? Mm. Uh, vivacious. What does that mean? Vivacious. Attention seeking. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you are, dog. <laughs> yes, man. No, I'm yes, not. Yes, you are. Yes, you Mechie, are. how many times have I broke down lane and I'm like, look, wait, wait, he's coming, he's coming. And you do exactly what we've predicted about you. Yeah. Oh, yes. Wow. Uh, wow. Leo's come in built with the flair of drama and flamboyance. Oh, yep. Every social indication is viewed as a scene in which they can be the entertainer, command the audience. Yeah. Receive a standing on a ov- uh, ovation for every joke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, they nailed it! Our pun master. <laughs> that sounds like every bride lens house. <laughs> <laughs> You've suffered through all of those. <laughs> and, and that, and that's, that's just the first one. We're just getting started. Mm. Uh, lives a good life. Spoiled. Yep. Oh, spoiled. Yes. 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 Who's spoiled? spoiled? You. Spoiled you. How? Only Fuck child. Out. You don't run with the uh, what's this uh, watch? Urabile watch children. Urabile watch yaga. Ah, oh, shit, let's change the battery. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> Who broke your watch? Jigga! Shit! <laughs> uh, yeah, so spoiled, huh? Nleh. Spoiled by what? Ah, yours. Like, I don't know if it's only child syndrome, but you are very spoiled. You are only child as well. Aren't yeah. you spoiled? No, my mom doesn't spoon feed me. Mine doesn't spoon feed me either. Is she gonna call today? But she operates, yeah. Has she, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she called? Oh, shame. She's she's probably just blowing your no, phone. No, I yeah? spoke to her earlier today. And told her. Normally, it's because it's, 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 I don't think it's been spoiled. Siri, Emanyan. I don't think it's been spoiled. And I'm just referring to the phone call thing. It's a case of we need to check up on each other. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. That's just yeah, a joke, yeah, man. Yeah, obviously, yeah, obviously. Yeah, no, but has, has she ever paid your rent? No. Never? No. Your car. Uh, installments maybe once or twice that's being oh, spoiled okay. no that's being spoiled no, no 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 she didn't pay I had to pay her back mm. Mm. but she's still spoiled ah, so it says what, what else does your mommy buy you <laughs> 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 maybe you're talking to like speak things now you talk about a uh, rent and cars let's just start with clothes you know no no clothes mm. Mm-hmm. The only thing she bought me was this watch, and it was for my birthday. It was a birthday present. Oh, okay. Uh, it says, uh, spoiled, right? If they're yeah. going to do it, they're going to do it big, and it's going to be the best. Mm-hmm. There's no second fiddle for Leo. Yeah, yes. We, when we do shit, we do shit yes. proper. Mm. Yes. Like writing books. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, natural leader. It doesn't even occur to Leo that someone else might be a better place to lead. They just step up to the plate, born ready. Yes. yes. Done that. <laughs> Dude, you can't even lead ants to a picnic. <laughs> You're still using that pun till today. I love it. <laughs> it's a throwback. <laughs> wow. Uh, this is my favorite part of all time. <laughs> Credit the... Do you still remember where you read it from? United Stand. Okay. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, popular. Approval obsessed. Leos work so hard socially that they usually... Um, what? The Bella of the Ball, the Queen Bee, the Squad Hero. Leonce, just explain. <laughs> Leonce. <laughs> Leonce. <laughs> ah, ah, wait. Our very own. No. <laughs> I think naturally. It's your boy B. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think naturally. Leaders. I'm relatable Leaders. to people, ne? Mm. and people have fun when they are around me. Mm. So. It's not that I want to be the party of the ball. It's just that people just like being around me. Mm. When was the last time you went to a braai or a social event and you went to start the show? This past weekend on Saturday and on Sunday, actually, because on Saturday I was at Yaya's house mm. and we were playing 30 seconds, drinking, having chats and whatnot. I wasn't the star of the show. That's what you, you think. You, you mean you, you went there and like, you were unnoticed. Is that what you think? Well, they probably noticed me because I was kicking ass at 30 seconds. <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank but, you! Uh, <laughs> I scroll up. What did you, it's not what did my you fault. read the beginning? Just read the first it's one. It's not my fault. And that you I'm just g- did it now. Uh, it's not my fault. Leo's work so hard socially that they usually... No, the, are... first, the first point that you, you read. Oh, oh and it he, said... And just did it now. It said... Uh, 
something about being a show off. It says, Vivacious. Leos come in built with flair for drama and flamboyance. Yes. Every social interaction is viewed as a scene in which they are the Thank entertainer, you. commanding exactly. the audience, Who receiving a standing ovation. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And what did Len just say? <laughs> I was, I was kicking ass. Just, yes, it's I was just, kicking it's, ass. It's just 30 seconds. I mean, that's standard. Okay. If you have me in your team, you best believe you're going to win. Okay. That's, that's a Leo, just being a Leo. I need you in my team. Uh, all right. And last one is protective, possessive. Like the lion heating up his pride, Leo's uh, surveys his, her squad, family relationships, work crew as being under their rule. Mm. And therefore, they feel responsible for others, particularly those they perceive as being vulnerable. Oh, I kick ass for my squad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we don't mess around with my peeps, man. Yeah, don't mess around with my peeps. Yeah, who you play against in thirty seconds? Uh, it was I was in the same team as Yaya and Khoto. I don't know if you know Khoto. Oh yeah, I know Khoto. And then the other team was Yaya's wife, my girlfriend, mm. and their other friend Dian. Mm. Mm. All right, let's go to Scorpio. Mm. Oh, you're a Scorpio. Yeah, I'm a Scorpio. Wow. Passionate. Hey. Controlling. Karma MacGyver wrote this thing down. <laughs> <laughs> the whole day he was busy compiling this thing. <laughs> it, it feels like he wrote it himself. Yeah. <laughs> passionate. It's yes. not even. It's on Cosmopolitan. You can check it out if you want. Uh, it says passionate. If they're into you, then they're into you. <laughs> and they'll want you to know everything you do, think, believe, etc. Yeah, that's pretty true. I'm pretty passionate. You're passionate. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. No, we see your passion. And if I'm for you, I'm for you. Okay. Best believe. Best believe. Yes, yes. Persistent. Obsessive. Mm-hmm. They're relentless. Seriously. Give a Scorpio meaningful and positive purpose and they could change the world. There's no stopping them. Mm. Ta-ta. Yeah. You can't even change a light bulb. <laughs> Is that another pun you, you saved? <laughs> no, I didn't save anything. <laughs> I'm just it's a throwback. I'm just returning the favor. <laughs> <laughs> Strategic. Secretive. Yeah, that's true. Are you secretive? Very, very, very. Yeah, seriously. That's why I don't post much by myself on, on, on social media. Yeah, but then maybe you talk about, uh, you'd easily to- talk about other people. What do you mean? No, I'm just saying, like, you seem like a talker. About other people? Yes. What do you mean? No, I'm just saying. No, that's only pillow talk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's mandatory in any relationship. You, you, know, you, know, how, you know how McG always just like, slips and he will say what did he say what did he expose your place now last week you know yeah but it's his place not my place <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh exactly that's yeah, what i'm saying but that's the talker yeah. that she's talking yeah. about <laughs> you're secretive with your own <laughs> yes 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 <laughs> uh, but on, on the podcast i'm pretty much free but if, if if you followed me and you didn't watch the podcast like you'll give me names eh? all of a sudden I'll hear you whatever been, you want to know been giving me names whatever you want to oh, know okay but if you follow me and you don't watch the pod you wouldn't know much about me mm. interesting you get what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, loyal, ah, definitely. Definitely. Wena. Wena. <laughs> <laughs> I think you added that to convince someone. That <laughs> Are you reading the right side? Did you? <laughs> I'm loyal, dog. I think, you know what? This thing was coming all right. Yeah. Until it said he's loyal. Yeah. yeah. Why am I not loyal? Eh? Why am I not loyal? Okay. Ah, I know. Ah, so, uh, speak, speak. Yeah, I'm also asking. No, yeah, like, speak. You know, loyalty is relative. How ah. so? Tell us, Lynn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You must elaborate. You can't just say, you know, I must lawyer. elaborate. No, like he's he's that guy. He's which, that guy? Guy? Which, which guy? Which guy? Which guy? As Colab. Ah, Silapo. No. Unlike him, I'm not a talker. Eh? Yeah, no, we must know. I need you on the spotlight. The spotlight's on you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you see, this this is what's gonna cause fights. Now which you fight? end up fighting. Hmm? You see, if, I, if, if I'm dating someone, yeah. I'm very loyal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, back then. <laughs> Hence, I said, as call up. Thank you. So you had to elaborate it yourself. Yes. Okay. All right. Sometimes okay. the truth is not. When it comes yeah. Down okay. Original. Now. Um, fearlessly curious. Nothing phases Scorpio. Uh, the most sick, sick, twisted, gory, disturbing it is, the more they need to look. Yes. Anything unsolved, mysterious, or hidden also draws them like moths to a flame. <laughs> That's why you get cut out. <laughs> cut out of what? <laughs> Pornhub. <laughs> 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 the more interesting, you want to st- I want to look, I want to watch. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. So Which category pre- do you watch it. on Pornhub? 
Mm? Which category do you watch? Ah, you with, you asked you. Last week, bro, and I told you. You must listen to the episode. I don't li- sometimes I don't listen. I mean, hey, I agree. Waiting to throw a pun. No, 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 no. Uh, I told you, it's the cell phone ones, the ones where you can't really oh, see. Oh, the shitty ones. Yes. Yeah, yeah the oh, boring ones. Ratchet. Okay. Yeah, the wretched ones. Yeah. Mm. So they were pretty much spot on, though. To a degree. To, to a degree. degree, yeah. To a okay, degree. but what did you say? No, that's not sh- true for you. Uh, Royal. Because <laughs> it seemed like you agreed with everything. That's why we felt like as if you wrote The everything. last one, fearlessly curious. I'm curious about things I like. Yeah. Things I don't like, I couldn't give a fuck. Okay. You would never go into a lion's den. Or something like I want to hear how they roll type of thing. Like last week, my 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 girl was having me because I've been wearing the same shoes for like ten years. Okay. So she wants me to how get new shoes. How many pairs of shoes do you have? Like six. Mm. Like in totality, sneakers. Yeah. yeah everything yeah. included. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she was shitting on me for not having shoes. Okay. And then I went to go try to see if I can get some shoes, and then I saw it's like one thousand five hundred. I'm like, mm. fuck that! <laughs> I'm not spending one thousand five hundred on shoes. <laughs> fuck that! <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's too much money. No, sneakers are going for. There are these ones, uh, these Nikes, the Air Force ones, uh, mm. that are being designed by this girl, the South African girl. I forgot her name. I think she's from the Val. Mm. Uh, she's got like pretty ass cool designs, and she's work. She's got a collab with Nike. Nice. Uh, on Air Force ones, ah, the, her designs are sick. What's the most you've spent on on sneakers? Two and a half grand. Two and a half? Yeah. Shit. I bought my husband a sneaker for about three point something. You fucking kidding me, guys? Yeah. Three point five. That's why I'm like surprised no. that you're one point five. <laughs> that was like, like only. Ah, oh, only. Ah, oh, that's too much money. Yes. On shoes. Yeah. On shoes, yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you're not a shoe fanatic. No, I'm not. That's why. Ah, I couldn't give a fuck. It's shoes, man. Okay, what would you spend on? What What is your Okay, thing? what is your, what is your, what is your, Fantasy spend, yeah, mm. on everyday things and like yeah, yeah, everyday things. Yes, yes. run through them, like shoes, like geez. shoes. Oh, like fuck. it could be like t-shirts, nah, or, nah, nah. Food. or jewelry. Because funny, funny, funny. We we're actually speaking about this. Because uh, mine is food. Who was I talking to? I can't remember if it was a conversation when I was at Tato's house on Sunday, or when I was with Yaya on Saturday, on some Tato wing. Yeah, mm. I don't think I'd go to Signature. And spend the amount of money people spend there to just have food, and that's me with sneakers. You see, the food. same the same analogy you have for food is the same I have for sneakers. No, 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 no. I for signature, particular. Sig- I can go to the Baron. That's fine. Me too. Me too. Yeah, but that's the same. He's he's right. In mm. fact, when he says that's the same for him with sneakers, how you will never spend like how others would go to signature. I would go to signature. But a daily satisfaction versus a continuous satisfaction is a different story. Also, I think. Okay, break that down. Yeah, go signature. I have the <laughs> signature f- meal. Okay, I clear that and then... You um, shit it out. I shit it out, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My sneakers, I can still wear them today, Wednesday, Sunday, but I try not to like repeat a pair of sneakers on a span of seven days. So I've got a different pair of either sneakers or shoes that I wear on a daily mm-hmm. for a week. So in one week, I don't want to repeat a pair of anything that I wear on my feet. Mm. But that's diff- it's, it's it's almost similar. Signature. Mm. You? It's just, it's about your spend. What are you willing? It may not just be signature. It's about just having nice food, like eating. It could be even going to the grocery store and saying, okay, I'm going to buy some things I'm going to cook, but it must be nice. Yeah, food I wouldn't mind spending. Yes, yeah. I'm so I'm that, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm I think I once spent well. uh, three, 200 rand on like, what's that? Pork. Pork. Pork bill. Pork bill. Oh. oh. But that's oh. normal. Oh. <laughs> that's true. Ari, that's normal. Oh, shit. I forgot to tell you guys what else happened in Porch. What happened? <laughs> You're not going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> you had pork belly. <laughs> You met oh Boiti and she consulted you. No, not oh. even, dog. So I get it. I told you we booked a lodge. Yeah. So on my way now to do the pod, uh, this guy calls me, actually WhatsApps me. He's like, hi, is this uh, Funzo? I'm like, yes, it is. Mm-hmm. He's like, um, please, will you return my microwave as soon as you can? Huh? Yeah. And I took his microwave. 
You lie. I kid you not. You lie. Did you check with the people that you traveled with? <laughs> Jigga. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna drop no names. <laughs> yeah. He says I stole his microwave and he's gonna open a case. You lie. I kid you not, bro. With the same cops that's like, MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. This guy's serious. So what did you say? I'm like, dude, I don't have your microwave. Yeah. Why would the fuck would I steal a microwave? Yeah. I have two at home. Yeah. Chase. Chase. <laughs> now we know what he spends on. <laughs> Tata Leo. <laughs> now we know what he spends on. I got two at home. Yeah. Eh. Eh. And you know what the funny thing is? If he does open a case, you know the, 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 the papers are going to ride with this, right? Mm. Especially because I'm unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> two less. <laughs> Headline: <laughs> MacGyver can't afford a microwave. <laughs> Missing microwave in Porsche. <laughs> How crazy, dude! Why the fuck would I steal a microwave? Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, Imagine you talk on lodging with a microwave, dog. <laughs> Out of all things. Bula butu, bula butu. <laughs> so did you ask the guys that you left with, like guys, what happens? I don't microwave? even need to ask them, dog. Let me call them and tell them that this is happening. They're going to be so shocked. Let me call Jigga. Even. Yeah, please. They're going to be so shocked. He, dude. It's going to be weird if one of them is like Asian. <laughs> <laughs> Were you guys traveling in one car? Uh, two cars. Okay. Is it? Okay. No, nah, it's going to be very interesting when it's yeah. just like Antwana. Ish. Karen Karende. I want to let Russell Hobbs. Do you have airtime there, Ghost Lady? That's what I've got. Um, let me yeah. check. I think I'm going to run out of airtime. Let's see. Hopefully it goes through. Imagine. Out of story. everything, dude. Out of all things. Yo. Hey, okay. Jigga. What up? Ukraine, boy. Dog, nothing, nothing. Hey, dog, what are you doing at the lodge that we were staying at? Huh? They said we stole a microwave. Stole a microwave? Yeah. When? This weekend. Yeah, the owner called me, he's oh. like, bring back the microwave. How? Ah, he's in Muna. He needs the Hulk. Uh, yeah. He needs the Hulk. <laughs> she what? He, he, needs, Hulk. he needs the Hulk. He needs you to go in beast mode. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but I mean, when, dog? Because we left proper. I know, dog. He's like, no, he's going to open a case now. Yeah. Are you sure you didn't punch it, maybe? Yeah? <laughs> you didn't punch it, maybe. What do you mean, I didn't punch it? What the fuck? No. <laughs> But anyway, we'll chat later, dog. We'll chat later. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, right? Oh, so you're going to give him a chance to open up later <laughs> <laughs> to tell you the truth. Boy. Ish. <laughs> what have you stolen out of hotels? Towels. Oh, towels? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think I stole a towel once. Ne? I don't think I stole it. I just left with it. That's not stealing. Is mm. it? And then, oh, and then I broke a glass. Because, like, you know when you're, like, in a hotel and then, like, let's say you buy your own alcohol and you drink it in your room, ne? Yeah. And then you end up going, like, let's say outside or whatever, whatever, whatever. So upon having to come back, the glass broke outside and that's what it was. But it's not a big deal. I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah, I know. The towels and the glasses and the teaspoons. I know that I did once. There was an alcohol. So which it was, I can't remember. It was one of these clear spirits. Maybe the vodka. Gin. Yeah, something. So I just pour water and close it. <laughs> so Is probably it? they thought that it was until they like, damn it, it's water. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She's I a hoarder, woman. <laughs> <laughs> She's a hoarder. <laughs> no. So something I wanted to ask about, I don't know, were you watching Idols? Ah, no, 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 I wanted to. I wasn't even following Idols, but I saw whoever won. Is there still a need for it? Nah, nah no. Nah, nah. But they make money. Out of the no, no, no. Idols obviously other millions money. of people who still watch. I was telling Donald the same thing. Like once you've seen one, so the one of those shows is the same shit, man. It's like you've seen all of them. It's the because same shit. I agree. It ended yesterday. So what I think I've got an issue with is it ended yesterday. Yeah. They already have dates for the next auditions for the next. Idol. That's been happening for the past ten years. Yeah, they now. need to make money, dog. Yeah. Prove best to feed these kids. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, that's season, how quick they are. are they they're catching up with generations. <laughs> no, they are probably catching up with us. 
Ah, no, 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 no. no. We are very <laughs> far behind. Oh, trust me. But there's one uh, music show which I'm loving right now. Well, I just finished it yesterday. Uh, Rhythm and Flow on, on Netflix. On Netflix. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's with nice. Cardi B and yeah, that's oh. nice. It's the same like Idols, but it's different. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? How? Uh, it's, it's, like, like, it's like what they did. Ne? They looked at all these music shows, Idols, X Factor, and looked at what was wrong with those shows. And corrected everything. Yes. Into one. But the winners of those things never last, though. Yeah. And that's, what, that's one thing they corrected. Those people never last because they're bound to a contract. So mm. the people that don't win can roam and do whatever they want. Yeah. I almost said Tizu Dromo was on Idols. No, no, no. Kayam Teto. It's like all Zulu people sound the same. They've got like, yeah. Yeah, but Tizu is What are you trying to say? Ah, nothing. Sorry. Eh? The, name, the names sound similar. Yeah. I mean, who do you remember from who won last year? I don't. I don't. Fo- the last idols person that I know is ne? Kayam Ted. No. Well, did he win? I don't. Did he win? Yeah. Kaya. Hey. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> I think the last. Hey, let's, I, we've got Siri, man. Ask Siri. Then, <laughs> Ask Siri. Oh yeah. I think the last idols person that I know who won uh, mm-hmm. was when I started watching idols. Actually, idols is like big brother to me now. I watched idols when I was still white. Yes, when Heinz Winkler won it. Yeah. Yes. Are you guys? Yeah. <laughs> Before it was wretched. <laughs> Before it crossed the M1 from Sentin to Alex. <laughs> These days, the winner would be singing on the last episode. Kalagata. Yeah. Tembisa Idols. You know? <laughs> wow. There's a friend of mine. He's trying to beat the Guinness World Record for DJing the longest time. Uh, Siri, who won Idol South Africa in 2018? No, man. Ask, has Kaya T- Mteto won Idols? I found this on the web. Ah, they're telling me about this guy who won yesterday. Mm. But Siri can't hear Kaya Mteto. Try it, try it. Try, try, it, try, it. try, it. try it. Okay. Uh, Since you're a leader. But I think he won. I think he won. But didn't he finish and got the better? Because no. most of the ones who don't win are the ones who end up famous. Yeah, yes. Manda Black. Chicana. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Siri, has Kayam Tetwa won idols? See, Kayam Ket. Hmm. Has he? No, it doesn't say. Oh, oh okay. It's fine. fine. It doesn't matter. Yeah, so this guy is trying to beat the, the Guinness World Record for DJing the, the, the longest. But Tabu. didn't um, Black, <laughs> <laughs> Black <laughs> Coffee do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, Black Coffee did. He's so trying to beat Black Coffee's Black, record. He Black did it in Soweto, ne? Yeah, yeah, he did it yeah, in, yeah, yeah, at Maponya yeah. Mong. Oh, that was a, yo, that was a vibe. Yeah, it was a vibe and a yo, half. I remember that as if like yesterday. Yo, yeah. it was packed by Maponya so, Mong. Mm. Yeah, Maponya Mong. Next Mong. to the news cafe there. Yes. Mm. At the parking Dude, lot. Dude, you could go party, sleep, <laughs> come eat, back. come back, and it's still rocking. I think I was visiting my friend at, in Chablani even. So it got me thinking, why don't we do the longest podcast? <laughs> so we have to be live though. Yeah, why don't we? A live broadcast. Yeah. So At December. When so you guys are off. So how long is the... I think on the... F- Look at you booking <laughs> us. <laughs> hey, Len. With me, it's either... When do you close, Len? When do you close? Do you close these so holidays? So my, 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 my life... My, my closing is not determined by me. It's determined by things that are yet to happen. Len, when are you closing? I don't know. <laughs> I, could close on the, I could close on the 10th or I could close on the 18th. When are you close? I don't know. <laughs> I okay. think the longest podcast is like three days. <gasps> I am dizzy. So we will sleep. <laughs> we'll sleep in shifts. <laughs> oh. oh shit. Speaking about the podcast, I had a meeting last week. Mm-hmm. Um don't cut me off, it's serious. Um, <laughs> now I'm looking at my drink on No, I know you're gonna affair. throw a pun. Uh, so a production house called me up. A production house. Yes. Okay. They wanna license the podcast. Oh. They wanna own it. Ah. Yeah. And they've got money on the table to own the whole thing. Tengi is a boy. Two million. Go for it. Uh, you can buy all the sneakers you want. <laughs> all the microwaves, the microwaves you need. <laughs> you can even buy a new micro <laughs> and take, take it, it to porch. <laughs> Uh, in it. <laughs> what else? What else? What else? What else does he? Uh, what, else do you need? what do you need? No, oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so you can get a new uh, land and a new ghost land. Yeah. <laughs> so I met up with them. They want to license this thing. They want to own it. No, is it serious though? Yeah, serious. And you're considering it? No, I said no. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, you've got things. money. Eh? Nah, dog. We never started this to make money, bro. Yeah? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Drops mic. We can start our same, own. But on the same <laughs> level, though, ne? Um, it's it's it's. It. I was tempted, though. I must say. No, but on the same tip, if Netflix came in like your exclusive exclusivity, let's sign a uh, what? A hundred episode deal mm. with you. We'll give you this much, and it must be as serious as series gets, type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you see that I'm cool with, because I still own the content. What, what? Oh, they wanna they wanna do what they wanna do an SABC slash multi choice to you. Yeah, Shh. that's what I was like, nah, dude. I mean, imagine we've been uh, not having a boss for how long? Mm. Imagine going to work for someone now. Yeah, and then they tell you, you can't talk about sex on the podcast. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that's all we know. <laughs> but return you the microwave. <laughs> You can't swear. You can't use the word bitch. You can't use that. Oh. Yeah. I, I just thought, like, you know, the creative freedom would lose it. Mm. Wow. But it's... I don't know. Do you think so I made a bad tricky. decision? No, no, not really. Uh, creative license. Break down. Break, break, break it down to us. So what ba- did it mean? So, buffer two meter, vibe. Or Buff- two meter and do the work. Now we but they own it. They own the content. So, they're going to license the content and then put it on TV or whatever they want to do with it. Yeah. Yes. But people are stopping to watch. Where was which TV? I don't know. So would they also dictate who's who appears on the uh, podcast? No. So it's basically we keep doing what we're doing. Yeah. But they own it. So it'll be they'll be it will be on their payroll. Yes. So mm. they have the final say as to what goes out. Yes. Wow. And we just have to come here on Mondays and record, mm. and be a good little employee. Abanyi, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Then, but what if they said, you know what, whatever money that you asked for, they're like, oh no, we'll pay you that per month. Would you still say, ah, bangi, perhaps? The thing is, with YouTube, it's different, bro. Yeah. Like, that Chili M interview, it's yeah. going to live forever. Yeah. Now, imagine if we didn't own that. Yeah. And some other fucking production house owns it. Or they come and they say, we own it. They take it. And trash off of, it. Oh, no, no. Off of YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And put it on their platform. And whatever. put it on their platforms. Yeah. So now it's not available anymore. Yeah. I'd rather earn two million every year or however mm-hmm. for the rest of my life than two million ones. Yeah. You That's get what I'm true. saying? That's true. Why do you like Googling Google on Google? No, it just comes out, man. Oh. When I wow. say Google. So it even Googles <laughs> itself. Yeah. No, I was Googling what's the longest you podcast. Think go- you think Google is a Leo? <laughs> <laughs> Put it past it, you know. <laughs> Longest podcast, Guinea's record. Yeah, I think it was. Oh, gonna Guinea's report. Ah, man, let's do it. That book. Yeah, it'd be dope. Okay, so how 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 would you do, would we do the pro, uh this podcast? We'll just record for three days. So at some point we'll actually be napping here, fast asleep, <laughs> and people are watching us fast yeah. asleep. It's been it was thirty six hours nonstop. Thirty six in twenty sixteen days. That's what I was saying. I thought. It is. Oh, I said, let me it's check. It's almost. Okay. Okay. No, okay. Six hours yeah. is a day and a half. It's a day and a half, yeah. actually. So it's a day and a half. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just if, if just mo- 35 hours more to this now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one hour, so 34 no, more to go. <laughs> no, if Red Bull is on board, we can try it. Me. Yeah. Let's yeah. try it in December. But a guy can see three treats at Red Bull. We yeah. Can try it. And, and, we, we, and we do not sleep. And we can go to Maponya Mall next to the news cafe. Yes. And, and people from actually there. come and see us yeah. you know, and watch us. Yeah. Yo. I uh, sing you perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever gone a day without sleeping? Uh, you know how crazy no, you feel. No, 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 no. No, I ha- I, that has happened. Yes, sis. Yo. You will see flames. I know, I don't think I have. If you do, you start the, having an outer body experience. Yes. Like you, do, you're not you sure. Your what, body just functions by itself. Like you, you are not there. Like, it just works by itself. No way. Yes, yes. Mm. Mm. It's scary. Mm. I think I've gone. The most I've gone is like 27 hours. Yeah. Mm. yeah cool. I was in porch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was jigger there? <laughs> hey, there were microwaves jigger, though. <laughs> they were not taken away. Oh wait! Another thing I wanted to ask. Mm. 
Ne? And I, I, I think I saw it. It becomes very jokey, but it's like a narrative that we all have. We are guilty of it. Mm. We've done it on several occasions. Do you think in apartheid coming ne? and separating us, we ended up owning that separation so much that we actually don't see the next people who are not us. Give you an example. Mm -hmm. We've got perceptions about vendor people. Negative, positive, mostly negative in most instances. Bad perceptions about Zulu, Zulu people. people. Yeah. Bad perceptions about Sotu people. Mm. Bad perceptions about Twanas, Osas, Watwa, in in. Yeah, well. Have we gotten to a point whereby we don't like each other? Where does this come from? Well, no, it's something that. that has been... So, uh, this actually started for me, I think it started a couple of weeks ago, mm. when a lot of Osa people were saying, see a call is from the Eastern Cape. This one is from the Eastern Cape. This one is from the Eastern Cape. Oh, Shoma Josie. Oh. <laughs> this, this. No, and no. And then Boma Sh Gaiva come through. Shoma Josie. Mm. Hakama Tokorisi. <laughs> uh, <coughs> who else do you have? King Monada, yeah. Cyril Ramaphosa, in in, and then you come, you're like, ah, nice to see you. What are Tribalism, you? basically. Tribalism. <clears throat> basically, yes. Yes. Is it a thing? Yes. It is a thing. It is. Why? It does happen. It's because of white people. That's why they were able to divide us. Yeah. It's like how Soweto got divided into. Do you know the thing mm. is that, that, mm. that white people are still thriving in this country because black people are not united. If we were all united, we'd show them flames. Of course. They fucked. And they cannot allow that. Because obviously, I think even but that I'm, statement about the Corsas, I think it started off as just a joke, like, wow, look at how the Corsa nation has been holding the country from South Africa, Sia Kolisi, and so on. So, but obviously now, then it became every tribe now wants to say, hey, we also have, we also have. But regardless same, yeah. of that. But yeah. at the same time, no, sorry, let me just. It, it always takes you back to, it's separating us rather than uniting us. At the us. same time, ne, it's something very interesting. Um, a friend of mine told me that his mother set him down. Mm -hmm. uh, I think when he started working when he was in varsity. Mm -hmm. And his mother told him, my son, ne, you can marry anyone under the sun. But please don't bring a Kosa go, a Kosa go home. Exactly. Yeah, that's how it starts. That's how it starts. Now, that's a thing. Yeah, but imagine how she, when she grew up, that was what was rife around her. Mm. That's what her, that's her reality. Yeah. We're at a different age now. Yeah. Where you can go Chinese, you can go wherever. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> but it still happens. People it still, still No, yeah. but the, the perception of saying don't bring a Kosa girl home, it's not because it's because you like I think our parents and grandparents or whatever have a perception that uh, I, I don't know what the perception with Zulu girls is. Uh, Twana women are stubborn and what what. Kosa girls are gold diggers and they're hoes and shit. Those are the perceptions that are being thrown around. If you had to do a survey of... But I feel like Len, by us repeating it, we're actually actually adding on. The fire. Yeah. No, but now I want to understand where, like, what, what perceptions have you heard about Mavenda? It's neither here or there. Those perceptions are there. And I agree with what you're saying. By just us talking about them, we are making them... Um, but I just want to understand... Feeling the fire. Yeah. Yes, but I Making bigger than they are. Yeah. We're but bringing them to reality. Yeah. But I just want to understand. And we told you, it's because that's how white people were able to divide us. Okay, they did. I think we are a smarter generation now. Exactly. We then cannot why still are, be blaming but the then white why people. Why are we... Yes, we can't still be blaming white people. Why are we not doing better? Because what they did to our fathers has an impact and our mothers. It impacts us. Yeah. That's why you said they set down your friend, her mother, not you, her mother. So now it trickles down to him. And then he comes to me, he says, hey, they said I can't bring a Kosa girl home. And then there I am, uh, I meet a Kosa girl there, Taboo, I'm like, ish, um, Kosa has Mandis. Ah, ish. Ah, next type of thing. Because I'm like, it's Shh. propaganda, dog. That's why, like, for example, this, this guy who owns the lodge, he's a white guy. Right mm. now, I could before you 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 go into the room. You have to produce your license and whatever. Mm. So he literally just went check the ID. Black guy. Oh, my credit's missing. Ah, he took it. But we're supposed to be woke. We are woke, but there's another we generation that's not. 
And I forget, I, I don't ones, even we, say sometimes it's not even a, a generation. Yes, we can blame it our parents and so forth, like that's the generation. But there are people walking our age, walking amongst us, people who are your f- own friends, and they say things that would obviously divide, but we just crack at and laugh at. Ex- exactly. So that's in what you just said, that is what I'm. It's I'm no longer just about our like, parents. Okay, well, well, like, cool. You're a vendor guy. You dating a Tswana girl. Mm. Ne? Consciously or subconsciously, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> so Siri just apologized on your behalf. On your behalf, why are you dating a Tswana girl? <laughs> She's being a Leo. <laughs> uh, I'm Sotu. I'm dating a half Mupulane, half Sotu girl. Mm. Right, you are Zulu. You are dating a Z- Swati, a Swati guy. Yeah. Right, but that's almost close-ish type of thing because it's Nguni. It's Nguni. it's Nguni, but at the end of the day, the cultures uh, it's, it's becomes a. Uh, I've learned a lot through him. That is culturally different, like and what? hence I'd say that just Swati is not as strong as Zulu. <laughs> His Swati, <laughs> you see, you see, she just like she just literally became what we're talking about now. Yeah. No, I'm just saying the language. You know, you know, Zulu is ha- like it has that commanding. Yeah, it's commands, but that assertiveness. Yeah. And then Swati, it's like wow, it's you like know, French. it's very, what very you light. Know? You know. Yeah. So how can you listen what to a Swati cultural man differences speak? have you learned from your partner, who's obviously not culturally the same as you? Hmm. Uh respect like what i deem respect in her is two different two things. different things because like in vendor when we had a social event uh. men are there uh. women are there my mom was like ah, i'm coming so <laughs> man <laughs> 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 So I'll be the only nigga there with my chick. <laughs> it's ox. <laughs> it's like, and then, <laughs> where oh. does, what does, how do you say Upumapi in, in, in Venda? Uva guy. Mm. And then it's like, okay, and then this one. <laughs> <laughs> but there are cultural differences. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I think also, s- can continue. No, no, I was going to say, we still feed the stereotypes without being aware, whether yeah. we are or not. And yeah. I feel, in what you said, Hore, if we had to be one, we would kick ass. Oh, dude. Of oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We are too great, bro. But oh, fucking no. But we are always And fed. that's just that's just SA. Now imagine outside of SA now, it's the same thing with the Africans. Yeah. You know? If we just unite. Yeah. yeah. As Africans we're not united. I I get out of my banner boy. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, shit, guys, we've got two minutes left, man. Fuck. Two anything minutes? Else? Yeah. Anything no else way. Say? Anything What's else? happening? What's happening? All right, let me make some announcements. i got some announcements to make. Don't uh, you have a game? I'm going to get assembly, and it's on a Monday, ironically. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. First December, podcast and chill. Year-end party featuring Scoop. Uh, we're also celebrating 30,000. Hopefully, we'll reach 30,000 subscribers by Hopefully. then. Hopefully. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're, we're just quarter two. We're five Yeah, so away. do subscribe. First December. Let's see them. Ton Jenny Lounge. Uh, pool party vibes. 50 Rand for Cooler Box. Glenn we're gonna Austin. At, Glenn Austin. We're going to start at 1 p.m. We're going to have a live broadcast with Scoop. He, he's going to come through about 4. Mm. So we'll start mm. recording at about 4. Nice one. Until 5 p.m. A lot of people are saying it's a Sunday vibe, but good December. Good December. 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 Every day is a Friday. It's the first of December. And guys. there are no microwaves, so <laughs> it's fine. And if we did it on, fri- on Saturday, I think there's a lot of parties on that Saturday. It was just going to get swallowed up. Yeah, it was yeah. going to get swallowed up with all the events. So yeah, 1st December, that's where you're at. And then the wine tasting event is happening on the 7th of December, Mayor's Dal Echo Estate. It's a thousand rand per ticket, and that includes food, cheese grazing table. What is that, Goslid? A cheese, cheese grazing table. table. Yeah. It's a cheese platter. Is it? And it's got an assortment of cheese. Is that something you'd find at uh, Signature? Uh, no, they don't have. Mm. But... It's something that you'd find at a very nice fancy buffet. Yeah. Like a breakfast. Well, I'll be having for the first time there. Because okay. we're broadcasting live from we're there. We're going to be broadcasting yeah. live from there. And that includes unlimited wine. Mm. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Also, the ticket like includes yeah, unlimited includes, wine. It includes food for mm-hmm. the whole day. Nice. Cheese grazing table mm. and unlimited wine. Tata. All night. A thousand rand. Just for a thousand rand. I miss the wow. cheese, man. Eh? I miss the cheese. I'm a big fan of cheese. I love cheese as well. Ooh, Len. We can you do, do the buddies. cheese boards and stuff? Mm. Yes. Wow. Ooh. Len, you must make a cheese board for us, please. Next week. When are you buy what? Grated the uh, club. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to rock and roll. 
Chad. Oh yeah, check out True Love, man. Mami, I'm in the, remember. I'm in the December issue, man. Tata. Hey. Hey. Malamban. <laughs> hey, making waves of 2019. <laughs> oh, wow. And no one never offered the two million. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> they want to buy you. <laughs> hey, but sometimes I'm like, maybe I should have taken it. <laughs> For the sake of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> How was the shoot, though? Oh, it was dope, man. It was dope. I met up with Sabi. I met up with a lot of people that I started uh, the industry with, like, back in the days. I saw Vivian on the... Yeah. yeah. Vivian was actually a fan. So she'd be a chiller now. Oh. But she was a fan of my show at Y. Oh, oh yeah. nice. Oh, yeah. Hey, in 10 years' time, imagine we're doing photo shoots with chillers, bro. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> like, yeah, Monday used to give us lights. Now he owns <laughs> F&B. <laughs> <laughs> He's paying $2 million to own you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are here, man. Did, did I miss anything? Um, have we missed anything? I don't think we have uh, what else? What t-shirts. Else is still yes, t-shirts. Podcast yeah, t-shirts are out of large, ne? Hey, what's, what's left? Literally ladies' t-shirts right now. Just ladies' t-shirts. And there's t-shirts. like about 10 of them. Ladies' T-shirts. Yeah, okay. there's ten of them, literally. Okay, so cop your T-shirts and do subscribe, do comment. We are here, podcast and chill. By the, is it Bonner? What? Wait, what magazine are you on? True, True love. love. True love. Oh, man, sorry, why am I reading ah, Bonner? Ah, hey, Bonner. Hey, Bonner you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get your copy of uh, True is, Love does magazine. Does Bonner still uh, 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 around though? I don't Bonner. Know. I haven't seen eh? it. I haven't seen Bonner magazine in a while. Oh, no, I don't read magazines. Yeah, I was shocked that I'm people gonna, still buy magazines. Yeah, I'm actually gonna. This is gonna be the first magazine that I'll be buying. I think in a, in two years. Just yeah. just for just for my bed. What are you recording there? No, I'm not recording nothing. Mm. Don't worry. Just talk. Keep on this talking. is a, your side job. <laughs> <laughs> Since there's two million on, <laughs> I'm becoming a cameraman. <laughs> Audition. <laughs> we are here, podcast and chill, man. <laughs>